One of the charms of the Assumption Girls Sports Program is the fact that there's so much humility built into it, despite all the success they've enjoyed in recent years. Now, Maddie Ehrman is the picture of that. This is a girl who has 10 state championships, six individual in track, and two each in basketball and soccer. And oh, by the way, she's just a junior. First, I make sure I have all my homework done because it gets really stressful, but we just have to stay hydrated and um, make sure like we ice a lot and go to our trainer, Bob, mm -hmm. a lot. So, mm -hmm. Talk about when it's back-to-back uh, -back nights. Like last night, I mean, you were grinding it out in not the greatest in conditions. It was cold, it was rainy, and then you had a game. Is it a pleasure the day after, you know, when you have a track meet one night and uh, soccer the next? Yeah, it's kind of tiring, but it's always fun to be on the go, too, and not have to go to like a hard practice yeah, the next yeah. day. What's school like on those days too? I mean, is it is it just the same too? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm. I mean, I usually when I have a game or a track meet, I'm usually kind of thinking about it a little bit during the day, but mm -hmm. it's for most part it's just the same. Mm -hmm. Talk about the decision to do both. You know, was that a tough decision? Did you have to kind of spell out this is what I'm going to do for track, this is what I'm going to do for soccer, and there's like an agreement that goes on. Like if there's a game, you know, at North Scott and a and a meet, where I mean, how do you decide those kind of things? I guess. Um, I think the coaches meet uh, like every week or something and they always like put the schedule together and figure out what we're going to do and then we just get an email and we just go with it. <laughs> so you yeah. just point me in the right direction. Mm -hmm. right? You know, I, I don't think she's ever said a bad word. Um, <laughs> I don't think she's ever said anything bad about another player. Um, she's always positive. She leads by example. Um, you know, it's funny sometimes you, you, you almost want to try to get her <laughs> play mad or to get her mad because uh, you know it's it, she just is is such a gracious player and, and is always giving the ball looking to make the the right run and um, so most of the times uh, us as coaches get in her way of her ability yeah. you know or to tell her to check two one time telling her to run away another time and mm -hmm. I think sometimes that we even get in her head like we just yeah. let me play I know what I'm doing out here. Do you find like there's a really great circle going on that because you got you do so well in basketball that man I can't wait for track or I can't yeah. wait for soccer yeah after especially after the basketball championship it was just like all right now we have two more sports to try to go get championships for so it's always fun talk about what your caution would be to, to any but any young athlete to going into high school to, to say to be able to manage this you really have to be what kind of person I guess to and, and make what kind of decision I guess um, I think you have to be kind of patient just like I don't know because I was really nervous about it and I didn't know if I wanted to do both sports at the same time but I'm very glad that I did, and it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Now, Maddie has high appreciation for all the state championships and all state honors she's picked up over the years, but what she values most is all those great friendships that have come out of playing sports. It's just amazing to everything that we've been able to accomplish, and like just, it's not very uh, common that you get uh, a group of girls that can go out and all uh, keep getting like these victories and everything, and. It's not very common that a group of girls are all that good at something and we can just continue our success. Yeah, I don't really say much, but I mean, I think just during games we're all kind of, we all are kind of like leaders on our team and there's not really like, I mean the seniors, yeah, they are very good leaders and I think we all just kind of want to be like them and we need to like learn how they're leading and then hopefully we can continue it because Danielle and Kristen and Morgan and Mary and all the seniors, they're all such good leaders. We hope you'll stop by our website at illawafca.org. Lots more stories on there and information about upcoming events, including our May 11th sporting clay shoot, and lots of information about the more than 350 FCA camps all over the country. With this week's FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.